What's up, Divine Feminine? Welcome back to Pink Scorpion Intuitive Readings. This is your girl, Scorpion Queen, where I come to tell you the truth because the truth tells me. And Divine Feminine, I started a reading yesterday for you. And um, I didn't get to get off at the end of it. it I was talking about um, either um, somebody ended something with a child. I don't want to say a death of a child out here. But if some of you have recently lost a child, could be 18 or 19 years old, this reading may be for you. Now... Yesterday, these three cards came out. Here's a child. Here's the coffin. And here's someone, um, bad luck. Somebody, now, this could, this could, uh, mean that somebody ended something with their child. And since they ended something with this child, they receiving bad luck. <coughs> and as I was shuffling the deck, change has come out. So this could, it, it may not be the death of a child. Some of you, it could be, and some of you, it may not be. Okay. Um, with this change in this coffin out here, somebody could have moved. Okay, that could be somebody could have put a death to something with a person. Somebody could have been with this person for nine years, or you could have a child that's nine years old. Um, someone could have a child that's nine that passed away. <coughs> they don't want me to tell you. <coughs> <coughs> and I did hit a blunt. Because I am, I'm doing this reading because I do have to be at work in a few gift in reverse. Okay, Spirit, I asked about someone being concerned about this child. Or it could be for some of you, I just heard somebody is having bad luck because in some sort of way, they were trying to use a child and it could have been your child. They could have been trying to use you through the child or divine masculine. You could have a child's mother who was manipulating you through a child. So, okay. Okay. So spirit, show me the energy surrounding this coffin and this child. What's the energy surrounding this coffin and this child? And with this gift in reverse, um, somebody could have been trying to get some of you divine feminines pregnant, okay? They wanted to give you a gift, but maybe you blocked it, you ended it with them. You may have known that this person was going to try to get you pregnant, for those of you who can, you know, still have babies. This is a narcissist. So most likely somebody put an ending, a death, to this motherfucker right here. This is a motherfucker. Yeah, I said motherfucker. This is a motherfucker that wants to control you, control your money, control when you go to the bathroom. They just want control over everything you do. But they don't want you to have no control over them. They don't they don't want that. <laughs> Toil and labor. <coughs> you know the relationship ain't going nowhere. And this person is trying to stop you from moving. They don't want you to go nowhere. They want you to continue putting in the toil and labor if you were in a relationship with this person. Others of you, you're dealing with the narcissist this narcissist, he could have treated you like you were his child. Or he could have treated you childish. Or he or she, it doesn't matter if, even though it says the wealthy man 
This person has money, but in my deck, this wealthy man is a motherfucker. Okay. Or some of you may have may have a, a, a narcissist coming to you to um oh some of you this narcissist may be returning <coughs> because they broke because see this narcissist is the wealthy man but if it, he if he's not a narcissist this could mean that he's this person is coming back to you to to um tell you basically they ain't got no money they ain't got no money and they could be trying to message you and you're not you're not um returning the calls you're not answering their messages okay spirit tell me more about this child cut off Okay, so I, I don't believe it's the death of a child. Thank God. I don't believe it's the death of a child. Somebody either cut off their child, this narcissist. He could have stopped doing things for the child. Or he maybe never did nothing in the beginning. And maybe you cut him off. Whatever the case may be, you moved away. Look like it, Divine Feminine. Like you moved away from this shit. Yeah. This person this person was not a gift to you. This person was bringing nothing but bad energy around you. Negative energy had you feeling like you having bad luck. And this is why you moved. You changed. Now if you didn't move, you changed on their motherfucking ass. You put it into some shit. I heard depression. Somebody, you put an end to this person um, keeping you depressed. You cut them off. You cut them out and you cut them off. You brought yourself out of this mental imprisonment. Now this person is possibly wanting to apologize to you. <coughs> what else, spirit? Divine Feminine, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button because your girl is out here doing these readings um, before I go to work. It's 8.10. I have to clock in at 9.30. And I have a uh, like a 20-minute drive to get there. So encourage me by hitting that thumbs up button and subscribing to my channel, okay? And don't forget to hit the notification bells. Um, I won't be uploading as much because I'm working now, Divine Feminine. So, um, just, just, uh, don't forget to hit the notification bell. This apology. Despair came out. It came in reverse. So, this, this person is apologizing to you. Or they want to. Main female. Mm -hmm. Tell me about this apology. What is this apology about, Holy Spirit? It's cold in this car. My nose is stopped up. They want to apologize because they didn't make a choice. And if, if, or they didn't choose you. What was the choice? But I know most definitely, Mary, they made the choice to marry somebody else. They didn't choose you. Damn. What else, Spirit? And Divine Feminine, if, if this is your energy and if you're going through something with somebody and they hurt you, get you a green adventure in crystal, okay? <coughs> and look up the properties of the green adventure in You're not letting this person anchor you down. 
This is why they're apologizing to you. Because if this was a narcissist that you was dealing with, you you have like you didn't you didn't told them a thing or two. And maybe maybe this, you know, they're a wealthy man, maybe they don't have no money. This can mean they're not saying nothing. This can mean they can't say nothing to you. They can't tell you shit. Possibly in the beginning, they was, you know, running you with money. With this weird ass looking clock or whatever this shit is. I don't know if that's a bank, little bank vault or whatever. Farmers and merchant bank. This person, bank said farmers and merchant. Okay. And either they wanted you to be in despair and you're not, or they're not in despair for what they did, but they're going to come to you an apology. And that means that that's a fake ass apology. So divine feminine, I'm going to stop right there. So I will see you. I'll, I'll do another reading, I guess on my lunch break when I get to work and, um, Yeah, it's it's not a child's death. Some of you it may be, but it's not a I don't see a I don't feel a child's death. I feel that you ended it with this narcissistic motherfucker. And now he's coming to apologize, but you realize that he is not a gift to you. And it was like he brought you nothing but bad luck. And see, when I read this card, this this is like the four leaf clover on there. This is something rare. You're not going to find a four leaf clover every day anywhere so when you got with this person you thought that you had something rare and then when it's in reverse it means that this person they did you worse or did you you know there they wasn't good luck if anything they was bad luck if anything they did you worse than anybody you ever been with in your life okay so i have to see I'm about to go in here, y'all. Okay, so Divine Feminine, this is a short read because I am on my phone and I'm sitting in my car and I'm going to work. Okay, so I will see you guys in the next reading. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button for me. All right, peace.